Hi, everyone. First uh, thing that we're going to do to create this cafe menu is we're going to get our paper set up so that it's a vertical piece of paper. So you can see that I'm here in Google Slides. And so I'm going to go into my file and go to my page setup. And you need to change this so that uh, we're in custom. And we're going to be at 8.5 inches by 11. So we're going to change it so that it is the opposite direction. Okay, so there it looks like now a piece of paper. Now, when you create this menu, everything you see is in its own text box. Okay, and then we're going to manipulate those boxes and we're going to move them around. So you need to create a text box. And for your first one, this is where it's going to have the title of your cafe. So please use your name to be uh, your title. Now, if you want to, you can leave it at the left or you can center it if you wish. You want to make it bigger. Uh, you can change the color of it into whatever color you want your text to be. OK, and what you can also do is you can also fill that box with a different color as well. All right. So if you wanted to, you know, if I was going to maybe make it this sort of a thing on it. Please size your box so that it looks appropriate, all right, as to how big it needs to be. And notice that my text is at the top of it. It doesn't look very good. So I need to take that and make sure that when I am aligning this piece of text here, it is not just to the left or to the center as you see fit, but also top, middle of the box, or bottom of the box. And I want it to be in the middle of the box, okay? And I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger because this is the name of my cafe. So I want it to be nice. And I would suggest that you center it in there just because then it does stay in the middle of the box. From there, you want to create your headings. And to create headings, really, it's easy to do if you want them to be the same color and maybe just the text would be a little bit smaller. So for me, I would do this. I would copy it and then I would come out of it and I would paste it and I would paste it again and I would paste it again. And now I have three of those boxes, okay? Now, I'm gonna actually undo that first because I'm just gonna paste the one that is there and I'm going to edit this and call it starters. And for my starters, I'm gonna do a little bit different uh, font size. I don't want it to be quite as big as my title. And so I'm just gonna create that box and make it a little bit smaller, maybe in both directions. And you don't have to have it the same color as your main title is. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just change that fill ever so slightly so that I am using more of a, I'm going to use a red and kind of a green theme on mine. Okay. So there's my starters and I need a border on that box. So I'm going to go here to my border weight and give it a little bit of a border. And again, I think what I'm going to do for my uh, border color is I'm going to change it to a very dark, uh, that maroon color again so that it kind of just matches okay so it looks like that and now i can take that box and copy it and i can paste it twice more because those are going to be my other two boxes for my mains and for my desserts remember desserts has two s's and then another one at the end not a desert with only one s a desert is a bunch of sand and we want desserts two S's because we always want two desserts. Okay, that's where we're at so far. I'm just going to make some room here. Notice I'm not worrying about aligning these at all. Okay, time to make some more text boxes. So text box is going to go in here and this is where you're going to put your uh, food. Okay, so you can copy mine if you wish or you can come up with your own uh, that you want. But be just uh, descriptive, okay? So a few things we need to do with this text box is one, we do not want to have any fill or any border on it. So make it transparent for both of them. A couple of other things that you want to do on this box is make sure that all of your text is centered inside the box. And let's make sure that our spacing is set to single and also go back into that once you set it and make sure that you've removed the space before and after the paragraph so it's just nice and tight together. Otherwise, you're going to run out of room on this. OK, you can also adjust your box so it's a little bit you know, smaller, but it really doesn't matter at this point because we have that box with the text centered inside of it, okay? Again, I'm not worried about placement. I'm gonna do all that placement stuff later on, okay? So you just wanna get them made. So go ahead and create 
your four more uh, text boxes, you need to have a box. I'm just going to copy in this one for time purposes. You need to need a box for your mains and you're going to need a box for your desserts. I'm going to move this one up a little bit here. And you're going to need one more box down at the bottom. Uh, I'll copy that one and paste it. And this one here that I'm pasting and moving, I'll just grab all of that information that's inside of it. What just happened? Let me move that out of the way. Oh, let's undo that. Okay, I'm going to grab that text box, copy it, and I'm going to paste it. There we go. So this is the one that's going to have the prices in it. Okay. And so you can, again, you can copy it as it shows of, you know, $32 per person and choose one item from each category. Okay. So you can do that as your final piece of text. That is step one, get all your text on there. Then I'm going to show you how we align it. So to align, take your top box and place it kind of up where you want it. You can either have it in the center or you can have it off to the left like mine. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to also place my top starters box height wise where I want it to go. So I'm going to put my top box there. You don't have to worry about any of these boxes in the middle. Put your uh, bottom box where you want it to go as well. Okay, and I would just resize that a little bit maybe so that it is skinnier around my words and place it height wise where you want it to go. Now you'll notice that I do have a center red line that comes up so I can tell that it's centered and you can do that with each of them and you can move it you know, over with your box and you can do them individually, but you can also do this on masks. So if I click my bottom one and then I hold my shift key down, I can click each one of these boxes and now I can simply say, put them in the center. That, oh, sorry, that's the one for centering all of the um, text inside of it. I actually have to go to the arrange, align, and tell it to go into the center. And they popped all over into the center. Now with those same boxes, still all of them selected, go into your arrange and we can distribute these vertically on our page. And now you see what it's done is it has taken and it has put the exact amount of space between each of those. OK, so that is what it has done. Now, if you've got a box, though, where it's not centered top and bottom in the box or if this box, you know, had that much space on it and then the other one did not have that space, they're not going to appear centered. And so that's why when you uh, take those boxes and you first off create them, it's nice to copy and paste them because then they are going to all be the exact same size. Okay, so those are all centered. I'm going to do one other little tweak. I'm going to grab these three. Okay, and I'm just going to use my arrow keys and I'm just going to nudge them up a little bit so that they're a little bit closer to the headline and then it leaves a little bit more space. Uh, in between there because we want to put some lines in there. Okay. Now to do a line, you can draw a line through your line tool. Okay. And when you draw your line, if you hold down the shift key, it will draw a straight line for you. Okay. And you can make that a little thicker if you want to. Uh, you can draw a line. And where did it go? Hold down my shift key. There's my line. Again, I'm going to want to put that line uh, so that it is in the center of the page horizontally. And now it is centered. You can take that line and you can change its color and you can also change its thickness a little bit. Uh, you can also add little fancy things to the edges of it if you want a little square on one side and a square on the other side. OK, so you can make those lines. And for some reason, this isn't really looking centered with the line. I'm wondering what has happened here. Let me go again, arrange, align those. Oh, I know what has happened. Uh, when I grabbed all of these, let me just grab them all again. And I said align, I aligned them with each other to be centered, but I also have to go center on page and tell them that I want to center on page horizontally. There we go. Now they're in the middle how they should be. So 
take your line, don't draw a new one, copy it, paste it, move it down where you need it to go. And then copy it and paste it, move it down where you need it to go. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that that space of that line is even top and bottom, okay? So that this spacing that you see in this little section here is even to that space. And this is even to that space. And this is even to that space. And you can see it's not. And when you do that, you also want to make sure that the spacing that is here is the same as the spacing there and the same as the spacing there. Okay, know that your arrow tools are nudge tools, so you can always use an up arrow on your on your uh, keyboard in order to do that. We're getting really close, hey? So we need to get some pictures on here, and we need to add a border to the page, and then we're done. So I'm going to pause this and go and start loading up a few pictures and show you what I've done. Okay, so I'm going to just show you how to put in an image if you're not sure how to do that. We go image, search the web, and it'll bring up this little uh, side panel. And so if I was going to search for maybe some chicken wings for a, a piece of it, and um, okay, I like this picture of chicken wings, so I'm just going to drag it in. Okay, now when you resize your photo, make sure you hold shift and drag a corner, right? Because if you don't hold shift to drag a corner, you can really skew it, right? You know, you're, you're really stretching it in one direction, and so it's not staying proportional. But if you drag a corner while holding shift, then you can make it nice and proportional, and you can get that in there. Now, if you need to do any cropping, you can do that through this crop tool, okay? And it'll turn on these little crop marks, so then I can grab and I can just crop it so that maybe I just want, you know, that part of it. And when you click outside of it, it's cropped. I'm going to do that to this one, too. I'm going to crop it because I really don't need that outside edge around my coffee cup, okay? So then the alignment, what we wanna do is you wanna align them to the middle of the page. So this graphic and this graphic, I would align those on their left side because we want it to be aligned on the middle of the graphic and then I, like the middle of the page. So I would maybe just move that over a little bit. And for this one, I would move it down so that it is even with the top of that. Uh, mains as well and there we go it's aligned on the and so this one here i'd align it with my starters and then this one i would have to move it over to align on the right hand side because it's the middle so i can just move it till i get that guide mark or i can shift click and i can say uh, arrange align and these ones i would align on the right okay now you again you want to make sure that this space here is even to this space that's in here watch your alignment so that you're you know, on tops or centers or how you want those to go. You need four pictures, okay? One, two, three, four uh, for each of those categories. This one's a little big compared to the rest. I'm going to crop this one as well, and I'm going to get rid of a little bit of that side on there just so that it's a little bit more like the others. One last thing I'm going to do here is we need to add a border to the page. Now, as far as I know, there's no border feature for a page in Google Slides. So you have to do it by inserting a shape. And we're going to insert a rectangle and draw a rectangle just barely inside your entire page, OK? And make it even, as even as you possibly can. And what we do with that now is we tell it that we want it to be transparent, but we give it some stroke and I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker. You can make it dotted or whatever if you want to as well, but you see there's my page order. So my cafe menu is done. And your job is over the next uh, couple classes to get yours finished as well.